Hi everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions, and this is the review of the Geek Customized SK61 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. This is the Red Switch Edition. Depending on where you're buying this from or where you're seeing this review, this keyboard is either called the Skyloon SK61 or the Geek Customized SK61. Let's talk about the design of this keyboard. Immediately you'll notice it's a very small and compact keyboard that will fit into a stylish kind of artistic based office. The reason I say that is because it's a very crisp white and it's very low form factor and it looks smart on whatever desk that you decide to put it on. I was actually quite surprised about how heavy the keyboard was and I mean that in a good way. The weight that the keyboard has to it makes the product feel very premium. It doesn't feel like it's a cheap off-brand keyboard that won't perform when you need it to deliver. It's got a solid weight to it and it feels like a very well built professional grade keyboard. I'm very impressed with that. On the bottom of the keyboard don't expect any keyboard feet it just has these little rubber indentations that allow the keyboard to stay in one place. The way that the keyboard stands up in an ergonomical fashion is by its design rather than having feet of the keyboard. I did find this quite strange but hey this is what they're going for and it seems to work okay. I did use it for a few hours and I didn't find myself getting any pain in my wrist or my hands. So it's a very good thing that just because it has small rubber feet doesn't mean that the stand functionality isn't going to be there and it will support your wrists appropriately. On the back there is an input for the USB-C connectivity. This keyboard is not the Bluetooth edition and it does require constant connectivity using a USB-C connector. I am very glad that they decided to go with USB-C instead of the older versions of USB that we still see for some reason floating around in the atmosphere. There's quite a lot of satisfaction that comes from typing on this keyboard because of the red switches that are inbuilt. I found it very comfortable to use when compared to other keyboards that I've used such as a SteelSeries keyboard and even some Razer keyboards in the past. Let's go over what it actually sounds like when you're typing away. As you just heard, clicks, clacks, everything is included with this keyboard. The clicky clackiness of this keyboard is not going to be suitable for an office environment but it will be suitable for a, let's say you, you're a streamer or you just like playing games in your room that's not going to disturb anyone if there's a slight click. So if it's the middle of the night and all of a sudden it's not going to bother people if they're far away from your room. However if you're in an office environment or if you're in an environment where people would get annoyed at clicking then maybe think twice about this keyboard. For everyone else, say no more. Looking at the keyboard from a keys perspective, on the left and right we do have a grey colour scheme and at the top left we have the red escape button. Break glass to escape kind of thing. So all in all, from a design perspective, I can't really fault this keyboard. It looks very clean, it looks very stylish and it will fit into most desk environments. Just bear in mind that if you have a black screen with a black mouse and a black mouse pad and a black PC, this is quite a strikingly white keyboard. So obviously it's going to stand out on your desk. However, if that's not a problem or you have an ice white setup, this will fit right in, no problem. When it comes to using this keyboard, just bear in mind that this keyboard doesn't have the number keys on the right hand side. So it is actually a lot smaller when you use it. Having come from a full size keyboard, it did take me a little while to get used to where my hand should be on the keyboard for a comfortable and efficient use. However, after maybe 20 to 30 minutes, it all comes naturally again and you have no problems. So don't worry about jumping from a bigger keyboard to a smaller one because it's really not a concern. Because like many others, I've been working from home recently, I decided to use this keyboard full time through my IT job that I do when I'm not doing YouTube. I literally replaced my current work keyboard with this one and I worked away. I have to say it did feel slightly strange the positioning and the angle of the keyboard because it doesn't have proper feet that flick out. 
However, I must admit, after maybe two to three hours, you kind of got used to where your hands and your wrists will fall and it no longer becomes a problem. It's just a different way of doing things. There is a slant there, so you're not going to get the RSI that everyone worries about. But just know that it is a slightly lower angle than a traditional keyboard. Typing on this keyboard is quite satisfying. And by that, I mean there's quite a, a warmer click in comparison to a more brutal and harsh click on a traditional keyboard that's mechanical. For example, if I type away on my normal everyday run of the mill mechanical keyboard, you've got that click. And then if I type away on this keyboard, the one that I'm reviewing, it's more of a warm and a softer click, which gives the impression, and quite rightly, that it's higher quality and more satisfying to use. I really do like the keys on this keyboard. Very nice. One thing you're going to have to get used to on this keyboard is the use of the function keys. Because the keys have been stripped down from a full size to this size keyboard, some of the standout keystrokes are the following. So you have the function and backspace, which powers the backlight on and off. You have function and P, which is the decrease brightness button. You have function and left open bracket, which increases the brightness. You've also got the switch between backlight modes, which is function and close brackets. And also you can change the speed in which the backlights are lighting up. To do that, you do function and semicolon, and then you do function and speech marks, or whatever you call them in your country. It's been a while since I've been to school. Anyway, moving swiftly on. On the screen now, you should see all of the keystrokes and all of the commands and all of the shortcuts that you will possibly need with this keyboard. Like I said, you'll find this a bit strange at first, having to use the function key and an option in order to enable stuff, but it's really not that big of a deal and you will get over it very quickly. And as I also said before, you wouldn't mind sacrificing a few shortcuts here and there for a smaller, compact, good looking keyboard that this very much is. For those people that are wondering about the more technical specifics of the mechanical keyboard element, to be clear, if you didn't already know, the optical switch uses light induction to trigger the switches. It works with the mechanical switch to block the light beam. When the switch is pressed, the stem of the switch moves downward, which then triggers the light sensor on the PCB and then activates the key. There is software you can use to customize the LEDs underneath the keys and the way that they pulse and the way that they go across the keyboard, as well as the brightness. You can also adjust various things like macros and other settings that you won't easily be able to do directly with the keyboard. The software is good, it's a little bit complicated to get used to, but once you figure it out, you'll be away. The software is also admittedly quite hard to find online, but as long as you type in the model name into Google with drivers or software, you'll find a download link there for you. Overall, don't be put off with this keyboard just because you might not be too familiar with the name. I can guarantee you, you will enjoy this keyboard. It's cheap, it looks good, it's built very well and it's got great customization options. Hopefully that's enough to at least turn your head and make you pay attention to this keyboard because I definitely think it's worthy of such attention. If you have any questions feel free to leave them as a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you very much for watching this has been Adam from Ads Productions with the review of the Geek Customized SK61 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard.